Welcome to the 1940s Gladiator Round Tournament. Today's matchup features Clarence Ross versus Steve Stanko. These are two of the all-time greats as far as the 1940s is concerned. Clarence Ross, one of my all-time favorites. And it is fair to mention, right out of the shoot, I am giving Clarence Ross an edge in this. He has many, many, many pictures of poses. Steve Stanko was very limited. So, like I said, right from the shoot, I am awarding Clarence Ross an extra point because of that. No sense of ad advancing a man on if he doesn't have a whole lot of pictures. And even in this front double bicep, it's not a clear head-on picture of Stanko. Very difficult to make a decision on this one. There is, of course, this here picture of Clarence Ross, more of a head-to-head -head comparison. And really, it's hard to say. Steve actually a fantastic set of arms, the longer biceps. You can see Clarence Ross, the shorter biceps, hard to fill those arms out. But perhaps a edge on conditioning. Slightly inconclusive, Steve gets a slight point, in my opinion, in the front double by. Now, of course, here in the front lat spread, and you can see what I mean about the limited pitchers of one Steve Stanko. We are forced to use this picture of him sitting down to capture this front lat spread. And I will say, in Steve Stanko's defense, his lats are filled out very nice, very nice indeed. Of course, Clarence Ross is pitcher perfect in this. He's hitting it to a T. Lats are slightly smaller, but the conditioning and everything else is head and shoulders above Stanko, in my opinion. It's going to be very, very, very difficult for Steve to ever come out of this deficit. I believe Clarence Ross had a little bit of politics on his side. But anyway, let's go on to the next pose. And yet again, Stanko, very impressive in each one of these poses. But so is Clarence Ross. Now, looking at the tricep itself, and yes, Stanko is winning for sure. But Clarence, he's not holding his arms straight. Gosh darn it. I don't even know if this was a mandatory tricep pose. But, of course, when you look at the rest of the body, Clarence Ross is just clearly the better bodybuilder. Look at those pecs. Unreal. Just huge rib cage. Nice little vacuum, I will say, on the part of Stanko. This is one of those cases where it's just very difficult for Stanko to, to ever beat Clarence Ross coming into this. Like I said, Clarence already had the advantage, plus politics is playing a, a huge part in this. Clarence Ross, like I said, one of my all-time favorite bodybuilders. We're going to end it with this here most muscular, and I am going to give the victory to Clarence Ross due to the overwhelming array of poses that he has. His collection of pitchers is, is enormous. He has a lot of pitchers, but like I said, also Steve Stanko, very limited. But the ones that I did possess, Steve Stanko is incredible. This man only ever lost once to one man. John Grimmick, of course, and nobody ever beat Grimmick. Clarence Ross... He's getting some help here, some political help for sure, and he is advancing on in this tournament. The next matchup features John Grimmick himself, and he takes on Frank Leet. And that will be the last of the first round matches, one to look forward to for sure. Hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day.